Hey guys, my name is Alicia, and if you don't know who I am, I make thrifting videos every single week. I'm here with the gals, Emily, Ariana, because this girl is having a birthday party. Yeah. And what's the theme? It's Studio 54 70s Disco. So today, we're going to be thrifting 70s disco theme outfits. A challenge. A, definitely a challenge. Probably one of the hardest I made so themes difficult. to throw. I made a huge mistake. It's my, I am supposed to stay <laughs> as a birthday girl and I have a week and I don't know. I have nothing. I have nothing except a Pinterest board. Anything. When you think 70s disco, you think like super wide flared pants, like silver metallics, like mm. what else? A little what bit else of hippie vibe? vibes. Could be sequins. Mm. Yeah. Crochet. You platform go boots. Go in different directions for sure we're at the belly village like cross our fingers we're we praying <laughs> yeah we might hit up another belly village later today too if we don't find anything here but yeah. let's see what we can find <laughs> Okay, starting off in the shoes, because I feel like what really makes or breaks a 70s outfit is the shoes. So, let's see what we can find. These aren't 70s, but they're kind of a vibe. $10 though, that is whack. Okay, these also kind of slay. I don't think they'd fit me though. This could totally be like a cool little 70s bag accessory if you're going for like the western fringe kind of style. Or this could even be a vibe for like the whole disco theme. I feel like when you think 70s shoes, it's either the white go-go boots or like a brown platform boot. I don't think we're gonna find that today, but we'll take a look. Okay, these shoes, I don't know if they can be paired in a 70s way, but they are kind of incredible and I need to try them on. Okay, next up, I think it's essential to check out the woman's pants next to see if we can find any sort of flare or hopefully bell bottom. Okay, we're in the women's jeans. We're mostly going to be paying attention to the lower half and see if we can find any flared legs. So definitely not like anything like that. Okay, no luck in the pants as I suspected. So we're gonna check out the dresses, see if we have better luck here for maybe some like, I don't know, any sort of like 70s pattern I feel like would work. Okay, wrong theme, but so adorable. Oh my goodness. This print is catching my eye. Definitely kind of like a 70s-esque print. It is fast fashion. And I mean, the theme is disco though, so it doesn't totally fit, so we'll put it back. Okay, I moved on to the men's jeans and I actually found these bullet jeans, which I found similar pair before. I feel like they're known for being pretty flared, but I was thinking of doing a thrift flip to make the leg even wider, like super 70s wide leg. So I think starting off with a good flare will help us get it to that point. So I think that's a pretty good option. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick, quick peek in the skirts just because look how cute this is. Vintage. It has some pretty bad stains on it though, so I don't think I'm gonna get it even for $4.99, but like that is adorable. Is it a skirt? I think it's a skirt. No, it's just like a wraparound skirt. It's so cute. Found some silver detail stuff and a little gold, but I think this is a little too modern. Just found this shirt that I feel like is very 70s esque with the flared arm and the green. Honestly, just really cute in general with the little ties. Okay, I just had the realization that I could totally just make my own pants if I wanted to. So I'm here in the fabric section. And oh my God, look at this fabric. Like, I think this is legit from the 70s. Very bold. Like, imagine pants out of these. I just don't know if it'd be giving like the disco vibe. Only $4.99, not bad for like how much there is. What else do we have here? Some Flintstone fabric. What is this? This is really cute too. Oh my gosh, the fruits. Are you kidding me? Okay, this fabric is totally a 70s vibe. Once again, wouldn't be surprised if it was like actually 70s. That would be pretty funky to make like pants out of those. Okay, this is the shoe. Honestly, a perfect fit. 
thrift store number two. We're at the other thrift now. I feel like accessories are really going to make this outfit. And look how cute this little bag is. I feel like this could totally be a 70s vibe, especially for only $3.99. I feel like the accessories are really going to depend on what shoes I end up wearing. So if I go for brown shoes, then this brown bag would totally work. I just realized too, this is vintage roots. Definitely genuine leather, so such a good find for this price. Could these be a dupe for like white go-go boots? Like if they're just peeking out from under some jeans? I don't know. This is a section I rarely check out, which is like the accessories, the belts, the scarves, all that. And I feel like a big brown belt, something like this, would be a really good accessory. I have a brown belt at home, but something like really chunky like this would be good. I also found this scarf, which would, could be really cute tied in the hair. Okay, back in the dresses, and definitely not 70s, but look how epic this little 80s dress is. Vintage. So good. I also find this dress, not like the greatest, but the print is giving 70s, but like imagine this with those boots I found earlier. We might have to just put that together as a look. Also, look how cute this dress is. I feel like this could also work for the 70s theme as well. I think it's vintage too. So cute. Leather suede dresses with the fringe. This would be, honestly, this would totally work with the theme. Like this would be kind of my vision for this outfit, this with the brown boots. I feel like that would work. Or even if you swap it out for this dress. That's a pretty like 70s boho vibe. Okay, I feel like a section I've been skimping out on, but it could actually really work as the swimwear. Like first of all, look at this. This could totally be styled in a 70s look. But I really feel like a lot of these tops could be worn as like just straight up tops. Let's take a look. And we found these pants. I really like them too. I feel like they totally go with the theme also. I feel like they'd be a good option. The fringe dress. But like I think this would work so good. With the bag. Here wait, put it on with put it on with the bag. So cute. I think that's an outfit right there. It is. Okay, so in the thrift store, I told you guys about my plan of transforming these jeans into some really cool bell bottoms. And although I found some really cool 70s prints at the thrift store, while I was thrifting, I remembered that I had made this top a couple years ago. And doesn't this just have like, you know, a pretty 70s print to begin with? and the style, like the halter and everything, it really is giving 70s vibes. And luckily, I still have quite a bit of fabric left from that project, so how epic would it be if I use this fabric to create the bell bottoms and then wear the matching top so it would all be like a totally matching outfit. I think it's gonna look really cool and just really like pull the look together and make it feel very, very much like a matching set. So that is the plan. We're gonna be doing a little DIYing to these jeans. As you can see, the fit of them already is honestly really good. I love the high waist and then it does of course have a little bit of a flare. Even the wash of the denim I feel like is very 70s, but of course, I want that flair to be a little bit more extreme. So I'm pretty sure I've seen a few different people turn their like regular jeans into like flared jeans, but specifically fellow thrifter Corinna actually recently did this to a pair of her jeans. And I think she made a tutorial. So let me actually see if I can watch that right now. Okay, yeah, like I suspected, it's pretty much what we gotta do is just seam rip open the side seam, probably up to the knee, cause I feel like that is kind of a bell bottom vibe and then sew in like a triangle piece from this fabric. Let's get started on that because we have basically less than a week till this party so we gotta get to it. First thing I had to do was undo the original hem. I took my seam ripper and basically just cut the thread so that the hem could become undone. Once that was done, I could easily undo the side seam. Just make sure you are seam ripping the outside seam so it's going to be visible on the outside of the leg. That's what we want. Once the side seam is undone up to the knee, 
we can start to incorporate our second fabric. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I wanted to make a quick pattern for my fabric, so I just laid down some pieces of paper and traced the general shape of the opening. Then I laid that paper on my fabric and cut it out. Now that we have a triangle of our other fabric cut out, we can place it on our jeans and pin it right sides together. I realized afterwards it was much easier to do this part with the leg flipped inside out, but as you can see, I just pin up both sides. Then we can just go ahead and sew where we pinned. As you can see, I'm just sewing through the two layers and then on the other side as well. You're basically sewing until you reach that original side seam. Once it's sewn, you can flip it right side out and oh my God, look how good it looks. It came out so clean. And then lastly, all we have to do is finish the hem that we undid. All right guys, so this is the finished 70s outfit. I am so happy with how it turned out. It basically turned out exactly how I envisioned. I was a little worried that I didn't make the bell bottoms wide enough, but I think they turned out so perfect. I absolutely love this print and how it obviously matches everything it just really makes it look like a cohesive outfit i even went as far as to add the little matching headband and i think that was just like the cherry on top for shoes i actually ended up wearing my cowboy boots i realized that they're probably the most 70s style shoe i own so although you can't really see them they actually just give me like the perfect amount of height too just because these pants are so long the top i had obviously like i said already made beforehand but I did actually make some adjustments to it and actually added a second strap to the back, which worked out perfectly because honestly, it, it did need like a little bit of extra support. And then as for accessories, I decided to go down the brown route. So I just went with this like brown tan leather belt along with of course the little leather like crossbody bag that i thrifted and i think they match so perfectly and it totally matches to the browns and the flower print as well i just realized i forgot one more accessory which are just these earrings i ended up picking up i just thought they looked pretty 70s and obviously just kind of matched the rest of the browns in the outfit so i'm beyond happy with how this turned out i'm actually filming this entire part after the parties actually happened so i'm gonna insert like a few clips from the night where you can see my full look with the makeup and the hair and everything. Oh yeah, work, work, work. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, do you want to say anything for the vlog while we're on it? You make the wow. Yeah, I made. No, she made everything. I made everything. That's I made everything. I the made pattern. The fur, I made the headband and then I like added this to the pants. Beautiful, yeah. good work. Shout out to my girl Crystal who was hyping me up and was the one who took this clip and the next clip that's coming. And I'm pretty sure she actually vlogged the whole party. So if you wanna see that, I'm gonna leave her channel linked below and in the cards. And I definitely recommend subscribing to her if you wanna see some other clips from this party. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole 70s inspired thrifting video. These pants were honestly one of the easiest DIYs I've ever done. So highly recommend if you're looking for bell bottoms. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.